In most cases, once people set the Wi-Fi password for their home network, they never change it again. So what's the consequence of this? The consequence is that it's not uncommon for you to forget your Wi-Fi passwords if you don't need them for an extended period of time. All of the devices in your home network will automatically connect to your Wi-Fi networks once you've supplied the password for your Wi-Fi the first time around. So chances are, once you've connected all your devices, you won't need your password again. Obviously, this isn't the case when you have new people come to your home or you get a new wireless device that you want to connect to your Wi-Fi network. You'll need to dig up your Wi-Fi password again. And in many cases, in these scenarios, what it leads to is it leads to you going to that piece of paper where you recorded the Wi-Fi password for your home network. And I don't know about you, but this can be a time-consuming process to go and find this sheet of paper, which is inevitably shuffled amongst many other papers that you have that detail the important passwords in your life. In addition to this being a poor practice from a security standpoint, there's actually a better way to go about remembering your Wi-Fi password. In this episode from Network From Home, I'm going to show you how to use a laptop to not only discover the password of the Wi-Fi network that you're currently connected to, but I can take it one step further as well. With your laptop, you can actually pull up the password of any Wi-Fi network that that laptop has ever connected to. All right, so enough background about this. Let's just jump into how to go about performing these steps so you have everything you need to test it in your own home network. Just as a note up top, I'm gonna to be performing these steps on my laptop, which has Windows 11 installed. If you have an older version of Windows installed on your laptop, the steps might be a little bit different, but the general concept here will be the same. So all you'll need here is you'll need your laptop, and this laptop will need to be connected to any Wi-Fi network at all, and you'll be able to perform this experiment. So let's dive in. Okay, so here we are. Here is the desktop of my Windows 11 laptop. And what we're going to be looking at first is the Wi-Fi password of the Wi-Fi network I'm currently connected to. Okay, so this might be a step that everybody is well aware of. The first thing we need to do is we need to open up our wireless network settings. So if you bring your mouse down here in the corner, here is your Wi-Fi symbol. Just need to click that and it will pull up more Wi-Fi options here. As you can see, the Wi-Fi network that I'm currently connected to is NWFH 5G. So in order to get more information about this wireless network, we need to click this little arrow here. Okay, so this gives us a little bit more information. It says we're connected and we have a secure connection to NWFH 5G. But the next thing we wanna do if we wanna see the password is we want to click this little informational button that will display the properties of the wireless network. Okay, so here you have some more information about the Wi-Fi network that I'm currently connected to. And what we're interested in right here is where it says view Wi-Fi network security key. The Wi-Fi network security key, that's just a fancy way of saying the password for this Wi-Fi network. So if we click view here, Look at that, it's as simple as that. The, the Wi-Fi password for the NWFH 5G Wi-Fi network is not my password. And it's really as quick and easy as that. So that's the first part of our experiment that we wanted to cover. For any Wi-Fi network you're currently connected to, those are the steps you need to follow if you wanna see the password. Okay, so I made some grandiose promises earlier in the video here making the claim that you can see the password of any Wi-Fi network that this laptop has ever connected to. Okay, so let's see how we would go about that. The first thing we need to do, obviously, we need to close this window and let's start from the beginning. Okay, so let's do this next set of steps from the desktop as well. We wanna get back to our Wi-Fi settings. So we're going to click this little Wi-Fi icon we're going to expand our Wi-Fi settings here. And the difference here is instead of clicking on the Wi-Fi network that we're currently connected to, we're going to select more Wi-Fi settings here at the bottom. 
OK. So here are our Wi-Fi settings for our laptop. What we're interested in is manage known networks. And this makes a lot of sense. Any Wi-Fi network that you've previously connected to is a quote unquote known network for your laptop. So let's click that. OK, so now we're scrolling through here. And all of these Wi-Fi networks here are Wi-Fi networks that I've previously connected to with my laptop. This means if it's a Wi-Fi network that requires a password, I've submitted the correct password for this Wi-Fi network. So in order to prove my point here, let's pick a Wi-Fi network that I've previously connected to and see if we can find the password for that Wi-Fi network. Okay, so one that we're going to select here is the Saloon 5G. Let's use this as an example. Let's open up more options here. And again, it's the same steps that we followed for finding out the password of the Wi-Fi network we're currently connected to. We're just going to select View. And you see the password here is Three Cowboys. So that's your password right there. Okay, so another thing to look at here that you'll notice is that for some Wi-Fi networks, here when we select Marriott Bonvoy Guest, when you open up the settings, you'll see that you won't be able to view the password for that Wi-Fi network. And the reason for that is that this box here is not checked. Connect automatically when in range. So if you have this box selected and you tell your device that you want to automatically connect to this Wi-Fi network when you're in range of it, it will need a password in order to connect to that Wi-Fi network automatically. Obviously, you don't need to store a password here if you're not going to be automatically connecting to the Wi-Fi network. In other words, in these situations, you need to provide the password each time you want to connect to the Wi-Fi network. That's why the Wi-Fi password isn't stored in these settings here. All right, those are the steps you need in order to see the password for the Wi-Fi network that your laptop is currently connected to, as well as all the previous Wi-Fi networks that your device has supplied a password for. And I'm sure it might be interesting to scroll through and see all the Wi-Fi networks that you've connected to with your laptop. But if you want to really be blown away, I suggest you follow these same steps for a mobile device, for a tablet or a cell phone. If you're curious about performing these steps for your iPhone, I've previously made a video that details these steps. They're fairly similar in concept, but there's obviously you're working off an iPhone, so it's a little bit different. So I encourage you to check that one out if you're interested as well. I'd love to hear about the number of Wi-Fi networks that your iPhone has connected to in the comments section. I should also note that there's a lesson to be learned here about the passwords you use for your Wi-Fi networks. As you could see in my settings, I was scrolling through any Wi-Fi network this laptop has ever connected to. That means for your Wi-Fi networks, any friends or family members that come to your home, they'll be able to see the password for your Wi-Fi networks at any time down the road. So the item of warning here is just make sure that the passwords for your Wi-Fi networks are not passwords that you use for your other personal accounts, whether it be a banking account, or a social media account, that's just bad practice to use the same password for your Wi-Fi networks that you use for your other personal accounts as well. If you really want to protect yourself, another thing you can do is you can establish a guest Wi-Fi network with a separate password from your home Wi-Fi networks. So that way any guests that come to your home they connect to your Wi-Fi through the guest Wi-Fi network and they never have any knowledge of what your password is for your home networks. But that's just about it, folks. That covers all we need to see here for looking at the passwords of our Wi-Fi networks with a laptop. If you have any questions about this, please drop a comment down below. And like I said, I'd love to hear how many Wi-Fi networks your devices have connected to. I think you'll be surprised when you see the sheer number that your device has connected to during its lifetime. If you like this comment or you found this video useful, please give it a like so it gets shared with others. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. There's going to be plenty more content that's very similar to this video coming down the line. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.